Hey YouTube, so took the uh, transmission to the uh, shop yesterday. Um, they said it'd be about two days to rebuild it. Just want to recap a little bit because there's some things that I missed. Anyway, as you know, here's my jack from Harbor Freight, sixty dollars with a super coupon. Um, bolted a four by four and a two by four in there, and then I some drywall screws to screw in the two, uh, two side uh, two by fours. Anyway, um, I forgot to mention, you know, because a lot of people don't realize that it says to uh, stabilize your engine or support your engine weight. Anyway, um, as you can see here, here's the oil pan for the engine. And, uh, this is some uh, one by three or something, one by two. And, uh, anyway, it's, it's a, two of them actually. What I did here, was they weren't each of them weren't quite long enough, so I just put some, uh, some uh, drywall screws through there to hold it up there. And there's there's the flywheel. Huh, it's got some metal shavings there, probably from the transmission. <laughs> I still gotta clean this up. And yeah, here's the neutral safety switch. I couldn't think of it on the previous video. Couldn't think of what it was called. But yeah, it looks exactly like the uh, the Jeep. My Jeep doesn't have one because it's a it's a standard. So. There's no neutral safety switch on that. Or if, if they had them, mine sure didn't. So mine's very simple. Now there's only one one wire coming out, one one harness, and it's for the reverse light, that's it. So anyway, here's here's what it looks like. I kinda have to clean it up. Or maybe I don't. I mean she didn't take care of it, why should I? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I should clean it up a little bit to make my arms a little cleaner when I'm getting done here. That's kind of what it looks like in here. And the cross beam. That I, I find it very important to to reinstall the the bolts where they came out of, so you don't forget where what went where. That's a, a big. Uh, 12 ton uh, Harbor Freight J jack stands. I got two sets, so it's total four. Does a good job. If it could support the weight of a tractor, it'll support the weight of this thing, no problem. If I'm gonna get underneath it, I wanna make sure it can handle it, no problem. Some people were like, oh, I wouldn't trust a Harbor Freight jack stand in there. And then, they put smaller jacks and they 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 believe in that well you know if it's gonna fail because it's harbor freight it's gonna it's gonna fail at a much higher rate <laughs> so hey you know just making sure plus it, it's more stable it goes a lot higher I mean shoot that's only like the second click or whatever this thing will go up to like 11 or 12 clicks up so it'll definitely go up no problem anyway just to recap a little bit what the heck else I guess that's about it transmissions getting worked on right now oh I found the uh, the guide to rebuild it actually through uh, Facebook marketplace I was looking for a used transmission and I found one that was close and then when I got to talking to him um, turns out it wasn't gonna work and um, so I asked him how much to rebuild and he said 600 bucks with a 90-day warranty and I was like uh, yeah I'm there so that was it that, that was the that was what did it but yeah Ended up finding him through Facebook Marketplace, and then 
when I go to a shop, he's got a bunch of Toyotas in there, Toyota pickups. So there was like three of them outside. There was one inside. He actually rebuilds Toyota in pickup engines. That's what he specializes in, but he does uh, do re rebuilds of transmissions too. So that was that was really really cool. Interesting way to find the guy, but yeah, they ex experts exist all over. You just gotta find them, and sometimes that's the way you do it. It's not like he advertised. It's just through Facebook Marketplace. He was trying to sell a, a transmission for a Toyota, and that's how I found him. Anyway, that's all for now. Just, just some little quick updates before I start cleaning this thing up. All right, talk to you later.